behind Fallow sorry, and Questionali at Pontefract, as Jim said. And as Bruce Raymond said, of course, the, the, the step up to six, I think, will suit Jim. Yeah, it's run twice uh, since that race you mentioned fa uh, against Fallow, Leslie. First time, uh, A, five furlongs, B, a legitimate excuse. He reared as the stalls opened at York. We just pointed it out when we were discussing Lot Broom Command early on, but uh, he did lose quite a lot of ground. Last time out at air, I wasn't present, but I did see a film of it and uh, read several other reports. The suggestion was um, that uh, Winterbound would certainly appreciate six furlongs and possibly a little firmer handling than he received on that occasion as well. He'll go into stalls late because of that uh, bit of a hiccup at York he's the second last to go in only cost 5,200 guineas um, winterbound and looking at him there he looks a nice horse for the money he certainly does he's a, a strong compact individual uh, and he's the sort that Linda Ramsden does particularly well with she's not really uh, a trainer who, who is known or excels at uh, producing early sharp two-year-olds by her standards, this one uh, was out relatively um, uh, quickly in the season, but uh, he's no weed, there's plenty of scope to him and he should uh, progress uh, into a nice three-year-old handicapper uh, in due course. But we're dealing, of course, something in 12 months. Hence, at this moment in time, he looks more than able to make his mark in nursery company. So, the money continues to pour for thick as thieves he's nine to two eleven to two winter bound hinder we and question Ali seven to one bar and uh, yeah nine to two is telling you that it ain't easy despite the fact there's only 13 runners there might be money for one or two but basically it's wide and competitive I expect Gigi will be calling lots of horses in the duration of the race let's hope it's one that you've backed and let's hope that this one puppet master doesn't need the strings to get into the storms Yes, need your binoculars here. Big diamond vision screen to help uh, things along as well. Three horses to be installed for this uh, Commons of Norwich Nursery. And um, we're waiting on Puppet Master. And we're also waiting on Winterbound and also Hindawi will be the, one of the last to go in. We have had rain, but uh, the fields are being sprayed at the back, you can see. Water gushing out as we wait for Winterbound and Hindawi to go into the stalls. The trip is a six furlongs, it'll be about a minute twelve to run. Minute thirteen perhaps, Lock Broom Commando nearest to us. Winter bounds in. Now Hindar, we, you know, we heard that uh, Bruce said that uh, this horse can sit down in the stalls. He has got permission to go into last. Stalls last, that's it, he's locked away. That's it, they're all lined up. And the orders, and they're off, and Hinderweed not as quickly away as some of them. Also, lab test a little bit slow away, and Puppet Master, early pace from Question Ali. These Jack Berry horses, you know, they're always their first from the stalls, invariably. Squire Corrie is running fast in the red and white hoops. Thick and Thieves not that far away. Far just shade at this calmer angle. Dimes racing prominently. Uh, right ne nearest to us, Lock Room Commando gives the lead uh, to, on the extreme left, Hindawi. Main group of runners coming down the centre of the track, and they come down uh, to the three furlong marker, and the red and Black question Ali, thick as thieves, far the far side. Then uh, Winterbound, the red colours getting closer. Squire Corrie is certainly there. Puppet Master with a run, dimes, and uh, a run on the stand side is Lock Broom Commando. Lab test the back marker as they come down past the two furlong marker. This bit right across the track. And thick as thieves, and the bl a blue and yellow in the centre of the track probably just has it now. Gallows Corner with a run. Hindar with a run. The stand side on the far side, dimes. He's sitting in behind on Welt Nast with the pale green and yellow, but Fard's got first one on them, here comes Sub-Zero, the pale colours, the far side, they're bunching inside the final furlong, uh, but Fard just has the edge, here comes Dimes with a big late run, it's Fard, Dimes, Sub-Zero, Welt Narsal, it's Fard holding on, Richard Hill's driving to the line, Fard takes it, Fard, Dimes, Welt Narsal, Sub-Zero, these clear rock room commando, and then behind that one uh, came Squire Corrie in the field trail, back to Puppet Master, and Question Ali, who were the last two, and so the result then of this, the 11th running of the Commons of Norwich Nurse, it's gone to horse number four, Fard in the colours of Hamdan al Maktoum. This one trained here at Newmarket by David Morley, ridden superbly by Richard Hills, for whom he was the 28th winner of the season in a race in which many had chances. It was Fard, this son of reprimand, uh, bred by Mr. N. Abbott. Well done to him and all his team. It's Fard who's gained the day here. Richard Hills driving into the line and this progressive reprimand horse has done the business very nicely indeed. Second horse home, I think we'll find is Dimes. That one was ridden by Brent Thompson, came through the pack, and I'm sure that will be uh, winning races. And the thir third horse home 
is Welton Arsenal, ridden by uh, Chris Rutter. There he is on the far side of that green and white colours. And he, Chris, was sitting as confidently as anybody with a furlong to go. Just didn't have uh, enough in the, in the locker to kick on with Welton Arsenal, running his uh, second race in three days. Fourth there was uh, Sub-Zero, and he's won a cracking race under top weight of nine stone seven for Tony Eyes. But there's our winner, Fard, a progressive horse. He's done the job well and landed this valuable £20,000 nursery. Well done to the David Morley, and well done to Richard Hills. What? I was going to say, triumph from Mrs. Graham, her selection this morning. Yeah, so obviously not my charity bet because it's won. Um, it was just the one I, I quite fancied in this race, I must say. I was a little bit worried when I saw the horse going around the paddock because he was bandaged behind, um, which I think is the first time uh, in his runs, but it made no difference to him. Richard Hills took it up at the furlong marker and I have to say didn't look like getting caught. A very good run by Dimes, who was seventh in the Newbury Super Sprint, another horse by Risk Me, a popular stallion with Richard Hannon. And that's a very good run by him too, but Fard just keeps lengthening and, and keeps finding Jim. Yeah, so the principles came from off the pace here. Just wonder whether some of the early leaders went a little bit fast. Fard certainly the strongest at the end. Dimes, as you say, Welton Arsenal poised. Sub-Zero came there with a chance, but Fard's taken it decisively. The mustard's his. And Fard, the winner, has returned the 7-1 to one fifth favourite. 7-1, to one. it was an 8-1 to one chance in the offices this morning and opened here on the course at 8-1. to one. The runner-up, Dimes, is returned at 16-1 to one against Hannon's horse, Dimes, with the third, Welton Arsenal, a 10-1 to one chance. And at the bell, there were 5-1 to one co-favourites three times. Hindawi, Question Alley and Thick as Thieves, all 5-1 to one co-favourites. The horses backed in the morning, winter bound and lock room commander were weak in the on the course and weak in the race but fard wasn't here he comes back back down from eight to one returned seven to one fifth best david morley having a very good season with his two-year-olds so far he's got fard and fahal and uh, a lot of others i'm sure still to come as Gigi said, well done to Mr. Abbott, the breeder. He was probably particularly chuffed when he got 52,000 guineas for this colt, but he'd be worth a lot more than that now. This uh, individual, the dam, one over six furlongs, a dam called Annalie Rose. And she's related to a to Barry Hill's trainer called Gallic League. Number two and number one. The four of the Richard Hills having a really good season as second jockey to hand that Armac Tomb, stepped in on a fair few winners in recent times and a delighted David Morley just chatting to Richard there. This is a fine big horse, he's got plenty of scope about him but then he's a son of Reprimand, Leslie, and uh, Reprimand was a, a big individual, so taking after Dad. Absolutely, he's a very nice walk around the paddock too. Um, it's quite a dark grey, whether he'll, he'll probably almost certainly go, go lighter with time. Um, all greys tend to do this, they go gradually whiter as they get older. But okay. uh, a very nice looking one, yes, don't they all the ask our director? Right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a very good performance. And um, had a fair amount of weight too, had nine stone one, so has done it fair and square. Does back up the theory that um, it's the horses higher up the handicap at this time of year in nurseries that have the class to pull them off.